how the underwriters, is there some sort of algorithm that's like written to be like, as long as it meets these relatively, like let's say there's 10 categories and as long as the median is 70% or is it, or is there really a lot of interpretation um, on that side? Yeah. Yeah, so we would try to we would try to be data oriented to start with. So we we developed our own loan scoring model that would, you know, help us predict likelihood of repayment based on our historic portfolio's performance, um, based on things like your credit score and your collateral yeah. value and that sort of thing. So that'd be kind of that first screen we'd we'd say, okay, is it meeting like the numbers side of things? If it if it's doing that, then I think there is like this next phase of um does the business make sense and does the operator, do we think that the owner yeah. is the right person for that? And I think a lot of times one of the, the things that we would see people get into trouble with is uh, the numbers would look, would work. It'd yeah. look great. The, the business owner was not the right fit for the business. Yeah. Um, some common examples uh, I would say, You'd have someone that's in a corporate job, good income, decides they want to open a franchise sandwich shop. Yeah. They hadn't really considered what that meant. <laughs> that like, yeah. well, now I'm in here making sandwiches when my team calls off or whatever. And like, this is really not maybe yeah. that fun. <laughs> this isn't really what I want to yeah. be doing. Um, and those tended to fail, I think, because the business owner really didn't want to be in they they had the they had the idea of like if i had 10 of these yeah i'm not in actually doing any of the work that sounds like a good plan yeah but that you don't start with that usually so i think i think that's probably one of the biggest um misconceptions of owning a business is so many i think so many people think that businesses can be passive income a lot of them and there's not yeah so in the franchise that i was involved in i'd started my own brand and then converted the best performing stores were ones that were owner operated and the ones that were failing and all the people that complained were the ones that had the corporate job and were just doing it, trying to have like putting money into it and having it be passive. If you're not in there, especially when you're like one or two or three locations, if you're not in those businesses consistently, like they're not going to be run properly, yeah. you know? And, uh, I just see that time and time again, like, oh, like, unless you're going to fork out like a couple million dollars to own a McDonald's or something, even then you still have to be pretty yeah. involved. So I think you're right of having a right fit. But if you have someone who's like a scrapper, be like, hey, like, you know, I worked in a restaurant and I now, you know, or I work for a lawn mowing company and I ran it for the guy and now I want to do it myself. Yeah. It's like, okay, that makes a lot of sense. And I, and I understand what it's going to take. You know, yeah. I, I've already experienced it versus I have maybe the wrong perception of what yeah this entrepreneurship thing is going to be like. Yeah. yeah. So then you get to the end. So it's like they pass all those milestones um, and then you have like a board, right. Mm -hmm. That approves. And is in those board meetings, are there ever like kind of debates or is it, they trust the process and as long as everything sounds fine, it's approved or how does that look yeah, like? Yeah. So the, the process is you're going to have basically a, uh, a loan officer that is going to go in and pitch your, your case. So it's, you know, if you think of Shark Tank, instead of you getting to pitch to the, to the committee or to the board, uh, you know, it's a loan officer on your behalf. And so they're going to, um, to some extent, it, you know, it, it matters who your loan officer is. You know, yeah. you could have someone that is like, doesn't really care if your loan gets approved or not. Um, they're not going to do as good of a job. Yeah. Right? And so, um, uh, so yeah, the loan officer is going to pitch your, your, your deal to the committee. And now for, for us, um, at bankable, uh, our loan committee was made up of bankers still. So yeah. it's like, we're trying to make loans to businesses that are, are not able to get a loan at a bank, yeah. but we have a committee that is made up of bankers primarily. And so there is still this like you almost have to untrain the bankers. They're like, you know, yeah, these are not supposed to be as good as what you're used to seeing. Yeah, but if if all we do is just approve what you would approve, then what's yeah. the point of us operating? Well, yeah, you know, why why should Bankable exist? So 